Hey, Eon, I'll start with you. Um, we need to know that our system won't have the same problems as the UK and we need to know why does the Minister and the Department of Health think that we are immune? You have put those questions to her. What, what was the answer you got? Well, we have been trying to work with government on this uh, since the pandemic started and in fact we didn't call for the Leaving Cert not to go ahead. I think we were the only political party not to make that call because we didn't feel there could be a replacement assessment grading system that would be fair. Now, the decision was made to cancel the insert, as you know. Uh, it was due to be held end of July. Um, the results were supposed to be out actually by this stage and the results have been postponed until the 7th of, of September. Within all that, from the beginning, we accepted the fact that the excess grading was going to go ahead uh, reluctantly. Um, but the school profiling element of it, we never believed was necessary and never believed could be fair. And just to explain what it means is that the grading as given by teachers will go through an algorithm, an assessment as to what your school uh, and indeed your gender would be generally expected to get. Uh, and we feel that that mechanism is going to doubly disadvantage, disadvantage students. Now, the department hasn't accepted what we've said here before, and we had no evidence really to, you know, to back up our claims until what happened in the UK. Explain and to people quickly, if you can, why, uh, for people who are not familiar with what happened in Scotland and England. Well, basically, they have, they have adopted a very similar system where uh, teachers were given grades and then they went through an algorithm which was to which was to you know produce a set of results and a huge number of these results have been downgraded and disproportionately disadvantaged students and in Scotland in England in Wales and indeed in Northern Ireland every all of these education systems have now accepted that they got it wrong and have overturned the system and now, th- now th- by the way, for, for people who don't know and don't follow what, what's going on in mm. the UK, this is a huge deal. Every single it, it one of the newspapers and yeah. uh, uh, um, television news stations in the UK today, it has been their lead story all over the place and it has it, been, it, it, it is a mess. Well, this is the biggest education story in a generation. Here, we have, haven't had a question mark over schools reopening in September since the foundation of the state. And we haven't had a leaving cert not being sat in written form since the foundation of the state. Uh, so we have to get this right. Now, okay. we know it's not going to be perfect, but we now can look to the UK and see what they have done and the, the mistakes that they have accepted have happened. And surely it's not, you know, it doesn't take too much to assume that the exact same thing is going to happen here on the 7th of September. So look, the minister can do three things. She can come out and say, first of all, that our system is very different, which I don't believe it is, and therefore it won't happen here. Secondly, she can scrap the school profiling element of it. Or thirdly, she could say, well, if the exact same thing happens here as happened in the UK, I have a mechanism that I'm going to employ to correct it immediately. But as with every other issue in education, there is stunned silence from the Department of Education and absolutely zero leadership from the minister, who, quite frankly, is marked absent.